What can you learn about Donald Trump's presidential win that you can apply in your own life to be successful? Stay tuned. Donald Trump won. What can you learn about success from this past election? If you haven't already, please click subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can get these videos on a regular basis. Don't worry, I'm not going to get onto a political soapbox here. I'm not going to go into my political beliefs. If you are interested in that, you can friend me on Facebook. I am not shy about my political beliefs, but that's not what this video is about. So what happened last week? No matter what your political affiliation is and no matter who you voted for, you have to admit that this election, this campaign was completely unprecedented and the candidate who won was completely unprecedented. So how did he win? I'm not a political scientist and I'm not an analyst either. I'm sure there are more ways than I can even imagine or more factors than I can even imagine that played a part in Donald Trump's winning the presidency. When I read this morning that Donald Trump had confided in Governor Chris Christie that he didn't believe his campaign was going to last beyond October 2015, it struck me really deeply because it, it reminded me of something I say a lot in these videos and something that I write about in my blog very often. Before I get into that though, it also reminds me of a quote from one of my favorite movies, Fight Club. And the main character that Brad Pitt plays, Tyler Durden, says, it is only when you've lost everything that you're free to do anything. Donald Trump had no political career to lose or to damage. He wasn't a politician. He could basically say whatever. He could come in, give his political two cents, stir up controversy, and all he would do is probably up his ratings for his next reality TV venture. Trump financed his own campaign, so yes, in a sense he had some money to lose, but he wasn't going to go broke, and he could write all of that off on his taxes. He's also too powerful for people not to want to do business with him in his regular businesses. So because he had nothing to lose, he won. How can you apply this in your own life? Have you ever attempted something where you had no stake in it, you had nothing to lose, and you didn't really have a belief one way or the other if you, was, you would succeed or fail? You just sort of went for it, and suddenly you succeeded. Have you ever been around someone who seemed to have nothing to lose? That they lived their life or they, they pursued something without any fear of anything to lose? There's something very magnetic about people like that. There's something about people like that who we want to, we want to follow them. They are sort of instant leaders. So it didn't even seem to matter the substance of what Trump was saying. In fact, when he said the most inflammatory things, people followed him even more, thinking in a sense that here's somebody who knows something I don't or has some sort of courage or confidence that I don't have, and they followed. What are you afraid of that keeps you from going after the life you desire? I meet people all the time who think they're afraid of their financial security so they don't go after what they want. They think they're afraid of their family security so they don't go after what they want. But what a lot of us are really afraid of or what we're really protecting is our egos. We're afraid to fail and we're afraid to succeed because if we succeed, then the expectations on us go up. I'm not at all saying that you should take silly risk or that you should go out there and do things that could put you in some serious trouble. However, more than likely, what you think is very risky probably isn't. A lot of what you want out of life, a lot of the dreams that you have, a lot of the pursuits that you're too afraid to go after, in actuality, probably aren't nearly as risky as you think they are. Falling in love means you will more than likely get your heart broken. Pursuing a dream means you will encounter failure. The true rewards are not in the outcomes. The true rewards are in the process of these pursuits. The good news is you will survive heartbreak. You will survive failure. You've been doing it your whole life. Take a moment to think about what your life would be like and the things that you would do if you really had nothing to lose. Now figure out how to go do those things and then think about how you can go about doing those things while protecting yourself and your family if you have one, but only as much as you really need to while still doing the things that you would do if you had nothing 
to lose. Once you know what those things are, go for it now. Do it now. Do you want to acquire the tools and cultivate the skills to ensure your success? Sign up for NLP Gems Ultimate NLP Practitioner Training coming up January 2017. Get 2017 started off right and make sure that it's the best year you've ever had. Check out our website nlp-gym.com. There you can sign up for the training. Also follow us on Facebook for real-time updates on upcoming workshops and free practice sessions that I hold right here in Santa Cruz. If you like this video, please click like right down here and leave me a comment or a question. I will follow up with you. Stay tuned to the end of this video so you can get your hands on a free NLP online training. Take care.